Hi, this is Brantley with Foolish IT, and I'm here to show off a demo of Crypto Prevent version 8's uh, upcoming new feature, Folder Watch Honeypot ransomware detection. And basically, this is going off the also new feature, Folder Watch and Crypto Prevent, which checks against hash definitions for any files that get created in these locations. But with the honeypot detection added on, what this is going to do is create a number of uh, honeypot files. So if any of those are altered or changed in any way, then the folder watch service can immediately stop any programs from executing and kill any processes that are executing and hopefully prevent uh, a large majority of your files from being encrypted. Uh, it does depend on the uh, crypto prevent quick access and essentially what that'll do is just provide you with the notification we'll see here in a few moments. Otherwise if you don't have the premium edition and uh, you're using this feature it'll just shut down all your windows and shut down. But we can see that right now I'm only using the folder watch detection. Uh, we have the notification tray and we don't have any other protections currently applied. And we're going to go ahead and apply these. Not whitelist anything. And I know for this feature we don't have to restart so we're just going to say no here. And you can already see all of the honeypot files it created. Uh, on the desktop, you're actually seeing twice as many because it's showing you the public and user desktop. But we'll go and, well, first we'll look at some of the other folders. You can see the files there documents, music, pictures, videos. And you can also see that in each of those, I have some documents and pictures already in there as well. So we'll go ahead and hide our hidden files now. Uh, it just makes it easier to look at everything. And we will go ahead and start this once I make sure everything looks like it's kosher here. Yep, so our service is sitting at idle, so everything's done with that. And we'll go ahead and start the ransomware. Probably should have disabled my network before I did that. But we can see uh, it looks like Folder Watch Detection did detect some changes and has launched the uh, notification tray. Uh, message to let you know what happened here and we can see that the service is actually continuing to kill things in the background as well as the notification tray app is launching kill them all continuously so just to make sure everything is prevented from starting up or restarting here then we have the option to shut down which is highly recommended if you do get infected with ransomware you would want to take it to a qualified technician to clean and remove it before they start it up into the live system again to prevent any further files from possibly getting encrypted. You can reboot here, but if that ransomware is set to automatically start up, then it's going to encrypt a few more files and you'll end up right back at the same message. So we're going to uh, reboot here because I know that HolyCrypt doesn't start up at boot, at least the version I have here. So once we see that restart, we'll check and see what files got encrypted. Alright, so it takes a little bit more for Windows to get started up here, and I know it started once this network connection shows is disabled, but we can see right off the bat that some of the honeypot files did get encrypted here. So we're going to check through the files and see where it got stopped at. So 
should be started. So let's look at our files. Looks like it made it through that folder. Uh, looks like it got stopped about right here. So we did have 11 plus 7, so about 18 files that were legit that got encrypted. And let's look at our other folders. I can tell right away that none of this got encrypted because none of our honeypot files are showing. So yeah, all those look good. Documents, same thing, nothing got encrypted. So good there. Music, same thing. If we don't see any of these honeypot files show up as non-hidden, that means that that uh, ransomware didn't get those. So that's how we know that none of those are encrypted. Same here, same here. Let's just check the pictures. This one, I think, targets documents and things first. So cool. Looks like it did stop uh, on the desktop, so any of the files that we had in folders here on the desktop got encrypted, and we would have to find out if that ransomware has a D-locker to unencrypt these files, but none of the files in our documents or downloads or pictures or videos got encrypted, so it did stop it at a certain point, and I mean, that's better than having all of your files encrypted. So um, this is all based off of timing. So this is fighting against uh, Crypto Prevent uh, Monitor Service. And since they're on the same computer, they're sharing resources and fighting resources. And that's just how much the ransomware in this case was able to get through. Um, this one in particular is a fairly speedy one to encrypt with. That's why I chose it to uh, demo here is because it's probably one of the fastest ones I've tested with against this feature so far. And it normally does get through a fairly good chunk of files before it gets stopped. But as we can see, it did get stopped and saved a lot of our files. So uh, hopefully we'll end up having that come out on a uh, feature or beta release update here soon. And you can find a link to get the beta version as it is currently in the description below. And hopefully this will help some people out there save their files. So thanks everyone for watching and uh, hope to have you try out CryptoPrevent.